gluing the rudder. What I did is I mixed in some uh, epoxy. You can also do it with CA, but CA gives you very, very little time to do things. Um, so you can end up either using thin CA and risk something pouring uh, and dripping all over the plane, or um, a thick CA and then uh, uh, risk it uh, setting in an angle you don't want. Uh, epoxy is uh, simpler. So what I do is I put a tiny bit of epoxy on the boom. Okay, set it aside. Then I'm going to take a piece of uh, wood or a piece of metal and then just uh, apply some epoxy inside this boom connector. Uh, about uh, half the distance in. The rest will uh, be pushed in when I put the uh, when I uh, put the rudder on the on the tail boom. So I'm putting the epoxy about mm, maybe two thirds of the way in. Okay. Let's put a little bit more. Other. Now what I also did is I put a piece of uh, um, um, the, the uh, springs already in the, the tails so I'm using a piece of uh, uh, some pieces of tape to hold it uh, straight so I can see uh, the angle of the rudder in rel in, uh, relative to the elevator and I put here a piece of tape so after I push in the rudder all the access epoxy will a leak onto the um, the tape and then after cleaning up a little bit I can just remove it and let everything set and I won't have a big mess on my hands now very important to um, put the rudder in the right direction whether it's bottom elevator or top elevator the horn needs to be on the opposite side of the peg so now I'm just gently pushing the tail in. And I'm not happy with the amount of epoxy. Um, I see that there's not enough epoxy coming out. So I'm gonna put the elevator aside again. I'm gonna apply a little bit more epoxy uh, especially on the on the cores you can see the cores on the on the inside here so I I'm, I I'm happy to add a few more tens of grams couple of tens of grams and, and add half a gram of useless weight in the nose just to know that nothing is going to fall apart on me when I fly. Having a plane I can trust is more important than one gram. That's it this time it should do it okay direction of the rudder and slowly pushing it in one of the neat things about a glass rudder is that you see everything as it happens okay
this time it looks a little bit better so now I am going to clean up again our crusty paper towels I am removing the tape you have to keep your hands clean otherwise you're going to leave marks fingerprints on the plane Okay, now we need to check that it's 90 degrees. The way I like to do it is I usually um, eyeball it. Some people prefer other means, but I've been doing it for so long that I feel comfortable just eyeballing it. And it looks pretty good actually. A, lot, a tiny turn. looks pretty good and that's it I'm gonna leave it to dry obviously I'm gonna put it in a way that it doesn't get hit by anything and no pressure on the other so that nothing uh, upsets the, uh, the direction changes the direction and when and tomorrow after it sets I'll be able to continue my work